mostly from script and there will be very limited staging. It's also a workshop, so don't be afraid to make some noise when you're having fun. The show contains vulgar language as well as depictions of domestic abuse. Scattered around are QR codes, which you can scan to access a Google form that will allow you to give your feedback and ask questions. The show runs about an hour and 15 minutes. Afterwards, there'll be a short talk back to the cast. And tomorrow, please join us upstairs at 3 for our Q&A panel, where you'll have a chance to dive deeper into the material with the creators. Thank you so much for coming, and please make some noise for the Archivites! <laughs> shelter underneath Arkham Asylum. On saunters the Joker, clown prince of crime wearing a permanent unnerving smile. Mutant here's deemed to adapt to stand in trial. We're more than suits and funny names. We've been to hell and back. We're victims in a bloody game, bathed in red when we bet black. Welcome to our calm place. It's got a reputation worse than most its population. Here at our calm, things ain't lento. So let's step up the tempo. Take a guess. <laughs> <laughs> By the CIA. Yeah. Lunch is free, sun is beaming, everyone can hear you screaming. Yeah. Doors are locked, boss. So let's jailhouse rock, folks. We are guests that trust a crime in our heads. There's no reason, there's no rhyme, just don't be stressed. It's a We will answer just what it means to be free. Is it a key change morpho?
one, even better than the rehearsal. How's the old gang handling their return to the smelly, crumbling walls of Arkham Asylum? You mean our forced relocation? Drugged and dragged off against our will? Unless drugs don't work on you, then you were hit over the head with a rubber chicken. I misplaced my hammer. I had to improvise. <laughs> Riddle me this, Joker. Why do a policeman's job for him and put Gotham's greatest mind back behind bars? Oh, does the clown need a reason to round up his bestest buddies for a play date? See here, you smile and sycophant. We ain't associates. Ah, nonsense. We've all got at least one mutual friend. <laughs> the Bat. If you're looking for a support crew, go kidnap Dr. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Harley, what do we do with the Oh, next yoga night. Oh, to hell with it. I've had enough of that bitch Sharon and her cultural appropriation. <laughs> Why are we here? Right. You want to hear a joke? So there's this guy, right? And he's got great abs and a mildly problematic affinity for underaged woods. <laughs> and he goes out at night beating up the homeless and the mentally ill. And what does Gotham do? It calls us Batty! <laughs> is that the punchline? Nope. This is Harley. Harley flips a switch to reveal a podium with a big green button. You have until midnight, which is just about three hours, ten minutes, and twenty-three seconds to decide whether or not you will deactivate the nuke that I have planted in the heart of Gotham City. Oh my god, what are you what talking about? What are you talking about? A what? A what? You said it was going to be a confetti bomb. And last week I said Sharon's yoga pants didn't make her look fat, and yet there she was, big as a house. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> Then we all walk away scot-free. You're standing in the safest safe house this side of Fort Knox, Ozzy. Oppenheimer, eat your heart out. We're keen as a peach in here. It would mean the deaths of tens of millions of innocent lives. Innocent? Gotham City is the rottenest waste pile in a species doomed to fail. This is a judgment long overdue. Maybe that's how it is for you, communists. But some of us have lives to live, empires even. We spent our whole lives building up. And where has that gotten us? You know how they see us. We were born and they called us garbage. They spent every waking day drilling it through us that we were garbage. We became garbage. We all have felt the cold injustice of the world, but that does not mean we take out our pain on those trying to make it better. I'm sure enough of us will agree to- Oh, sorry, did I forget to mention you all have to agree to press the button, or else kaboom! What? <laughs> Thank you, I tried. <laughs> but chin up, the journey is half the fun. Gives you a chance to share perspectives, you know. Catch up. Did somebody say catch up? <laughs> Joker takes out a yellow piece of paper and some glasses and reads aloud. According to clause 14, subsection 2, blah, 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 legal bullshit, we are contractually obligated to include the condiment king in our discussion. Discussion. 
Your seat is over there. Joker gestures to a solemn chair in the corner of the room. Condiment King looks to the chair, then back to Joker, then back to the chair, skulking over to the lonely chair and sitting down. Well then, just gonna sit here and look pretty? Because I consider most of you inner beauty types. All right, Joker, you calamitous can. Normally I can look past Mass Moina and want to destruction, but today you have officially gone over the line. You can look past Mass Murder? Without assertion, and I dare you to quote me on that. But today, you made a big mistake. You tried to become a fox in my $20 billion hen house. Of course. Even at a time like this, all you can think about is you and your fortune. <laughs> I worked too hard for too long to let you, your girlfriend, or Charlie Green jackass over here take your life. This is exactly what I'm talking about. If you say you've got them, all you're really saving is bougie assholes who only are looking out for themselves. Huh. What's so wrong about looking out for yourself, eh? What's the world ever done for me? That's the difference between us, Lake Boy. I know how to make the best of what I'm given. The difference between us is I know there's no such thing as a good billionaire. Oh, not true. Not <laughs> Bruce Wayne. Police! <laughs> Police! If Bruce Wayne was a good billionaire, why am I drowning in half a million in student loans? some feathers, but what can I say? Fish gotta swim, birds gotta fly, and penguins hit it my throat. Gotta sing. <laughs> like a good chance to regale a story of malice in melodic minor scale the discovery channel presents penguin's tale tonight that's right it's the flip equipment to deliver his prose the dapperest chap from his hat to his toes the Florence is the flashiest rose that's the sitch also I'm rich so sit and dine with a taste that's far more refined cause this to surmise at my word to the wise and the bright. And that's be careful who you pick on. Careful who you please. The ones you play a trick on may haunt you the rest of your days. The rest of your days. <laughs> I was only a fledgling, asleep in my nest, when I missed any love that my parents possessed. I was merely an object to mock and detest and abhor. And what's more, I was a frequent flyer of the bigger kids' jokes. They called me fat and spat, and they prodded and poked, without so much as a peep from my folks at large. I took charge, I duped, and killed, and killed. To grindstone and hassle, I'm king of my castle of ice. Here's my advice, be careful who you believe, careful who you call. One day that ugly duckling may march as a beautiful swan, a beautiful swan. I like ports. <laughs> thing about Penguin is that he's entirely sane. Just a man with his fair share of horseshit and no comfort to deal with the blues. Why, without all his smarts and his riches, he's no more likely a villain than you. <laughs> so sit and dine, cause you're standing amongst the divine. Cause in higher society where notoriety be. Here's a limitless fortune and parties and scotch. Preeminence raised to the uppermost notch. So raise up your glass, have a gander, and watch how high this bird can fly. This bird can fly. This bird can fly. Brilliant opening remarks from the defense. 
Yes. Save Gotham, perpetuate a broken oligarchy built by the many for the few. God bless America. <laughs> How mighty is the bird from his nest upon the tree? Until the forest catches flame and all that remains is ash. Something you want to say, Stringbean? I couldn't bear to go another minute to lecture from Tony Soprano with a bird finish. I do not! Wait a minute! Look me in the eye and tell me you never thought of fucking a bird. Hey! I have a bitch to do and admire the natural beauty of the pink flamingo. Sexually? Uh, <laughs> I am not the freak here, all right? You think you have any right? You look like black licorice taste. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 While you've been dawdling about, I've been using my higher intelligence to solve this conundrum most confounding. The question, why save a city that isn't worth saving? Answer, don't! <laughs> you would doom blameless lives for the twisted delusions of a madman? Blameless. A curious word. Riddle me this freeze. When your problem is systemic, where does the river of blame dry up? I have come to learn that the deeds of a few bad men are not so burden of us all. The blame, Mr. Freeze, lies not with a few men, but with ignorance. Why, after everything that I've endured, after all the people who told me otherwise, I still think I'm better than everyone else. Is it because you're a prick? <laughs> I don't think I'm better than you. I know I am. In his mind, Enigma is transported back to his first sessions at Arkham Asylum. Subject name, Edward Enigma. Super billionaire, a Genius level intellect. Obsessed with brain penis. He uses them in his exploits to move his mind to the gun. How does an egghead, misfit, aberrant, insomniac, neurotic? Find a way to put himself to bed. Oh, it rains so loud, so raucous and chaotic. Some days I'd rather pulverize my head. Where should I look that I might find some means to neutralize my mind? I try not to think, I try not to think. I'm sitting in bed, I haven't a wink. And then in my head, it's starting to link. Something is on the rewinding the shot of my mind. Superimposed on the world, shining for all to observe, and nobody worthy to understand its might. And no one pretends you're not there, everyone fully aware, no one to lead me to Doctors seem to give me 50 medication. Anyway, the ringing never stops with each appointment, each evaluation. I'd rather take my chances with the cops. How there in Gotham there remains the only bat to match my brains. I try not to think, I try not to act. My noggin is packed with limitless facts. I try to distract, then I'm attacked. My meddling distracts me, replaying the shot of my mind. Superimposed on the world, whether they like it or not. Give them a puzzle and watch them lose their minds. Getting the thing they deserve, facing the one they forgot. And then maybe once they'll be forced to use their mind. Five W's when life troubles you. Ask why, when, and who, what, where, and how. Those fraudulent brains who called me insane. Well, they're all gonna pay with some pain here and now. Tell me this. What creature still stands after its legs have been broken? I don't know. A <laughs> stubborn one with a mind.
Find is the roaring 
my dearest, to again feel the sun. Oh, open this door, Peter, open this door. I knew the men who did this to us would get just what they deserved. My vengeance could be served. Oh, the cold became my ally in a never ending war. The fiends who did this to us wouldn't prosper anymore. I'd find them and I'd make them pay a truly fatal price. The ones who took my Nora, I would put them all on ice! Then I failed. on Harley's right arm. She quickly hides it behind her back. Oh, um, that? Uh, just a little kerfuffle La after last week's hike at the Museum of Laughs. I stepped on a whoopee cushion and it ticked off all the cars I had it covered. Uh, what? But I know he just wants 
what's best for us. One of these days he's gonna say, Harmony, I've had my last laugh. Let's get hitched and move to Reno. Somehow I highly doubt that. But I appreciate you, Red, always looking out for me. Yeah. Well, I, I care about you, Harley, very deeply. And I just want to know you're gonna be okay. A lot has changed since you were just my doctor with the movie glasses. Who'd have thought I looked better without him? And whatever makes him happy makes me happy. That's what I'm afraid of. The two return to their seats, back to the action. You know, I can't help but notice that you're back in the coffee case. Hey, 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 hey. Who let you out of the chair? <laughs> I consulted the written agreement, which you all signed with the Sealess Group's yes. Union. Oh and I found really this clause right here that says for every three supervillain soliloquies, some or otherwise, I get one opportunity for self-expression. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm choosing to do so in song form. <laughs> oh, when you're trotting along, you can count on a song. It's as easy as a one, two, three. Oh, God. Thank God. You well know, per section 18, article 12, that any beats of musical self-expression as agreed upon in labor negotiations may be overridden if a musical is, if a religious exemption is cited. Uh, well, does anyone have a religious exemption? Wish. Exactly! <laughs> so it's just not going to work right now. Back to your chair. Muscle Tom. You win this round, but I'll be back with an airtight legal argument. Please, do you really think we gather up the worst Gotham has to offer and not include a lawyer? <laughs> anyway, where were we? I loved my wife. <laughs> Life. She knew it wasn't something we should have to debate. And yet, there are those like you. You may say you're no villain, but yet you throw away life without a moment's hesitation. I please. Calling me a supervillain says a lot more about Gotham than it does me. I prefer ego terrorists. I prefer tree hunter. I bet you got a bigger kill count than I do. Hell yeah, Red! Women's wrong! They hate to see a successful women in STEM. <laughs> I've always hated people, okay? After I had my accident, I had this whole new perspective. I could hear what the fans were saying to me. Not to mention I looked like this. Not nothing to be ashamed of, Red. You're looking hot. You think, Charles? Yeah, Ivy. You look great. Oh, my gosh. Yes! <laughs> After just one kiss, it's like they can't resist a toxic rendezvous. I'll have them begging me for sweet romance, so give me just one chance and let me grow on you. Oh. I don't care if it's cheesy, it isn't easy being green. Gray men come and haunt me because they want me for their queen. I don't give what you got in your pocket or other parts of your pants. You talk a lot, but I got on the docket payback for the plants. Then I thought of the slight trap that the fly trap needs to strike. Flies are none the wiser, cause their flies are all alike. After just a puff of the savory stuff, they will land atop of the pink. They're brought to heel like a three-course meal before they have the chance to think. I'm looking for a man with power Cause I'm another kind of flower And if I think you're ready, you'll be mine And tangled in my vine, oh! I get them tipsy after just one kiss It's like they can't resist a toxic rendezvous I have them begging me for just one so give me just one chance and let me grow on you. Uh -oh. 
If rich men want to touch me, don't judge me, because I'll use it. Rich men hold their heads high, and you can bet I will abuse it. You tore the reefs and you cut down trees, there's no place you won't pollute. And when I can't say the dying plant, I tear it by the root. You rich men buy splendor to pretend you're not so sad. You look short of 90, you remind me of my dad. I just look in your eyes, all I see is lies and remains of murder flora. You think you're screwing, but all that you're doing is waking up Pandora's box. Since money's not a thing you're lacking, I'll put it to a cause worth backing. And after I've exhausted all your worth, I'll ground you in the Get them tipsy after just one kiss. It's like they can't resist a toxic rendezvous. I haven't begged me for sweet romance. So give me just one chance and let me grow on you. Uh -oh. And if you only knew the things that these men do to plants and people. So if you don't comply, then people have to die, then people have to die, have to die. Whoa, whoa. If you do not comply, then people have to die. So let me grow on you. Choice. I gotta flip on it. <laughs> Look, I'm the last. 
last guy to question a man on his obsessive compulsion, but there comes a point where you've got to take things into your own hand. Which hand? This regular pale, kind of dusty one? Or this burned, pulsing, Quasimodo-looking hand? This is my right hand. Folks at the bank usually think I'm some kind of freak. That might also be because my body is horribly deformed and I'm usually robbing them. <laughs> Penguin sneaks up behind Dent and swipes his coin. Uh, I have had it with this fucking thing. Give it back! Now! <laughs> okay, okay. Yeesh, I'm married to money. Shit, move. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time I'll think twice about the Two-Face on his coin edge. We are not speaking to Two-Face. We are speaking to what's left of the trailblazing district attorney, Harvey Dent. You can try. But he's only half the man he used to be. Shooby bop dop doop ba doo ba dee ba doo ba wah bop 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 ba hey. Who's that walking down Gotham Main Street? Harvey. Strutting new DA that just can't be beat. Harvey. I survived the slums of Gotham. Stared the rackets in the eye. Seen a dollar get you a dollar And I cannot just stand by While the scofflaws have their scuffles Pay police to look away Let the good men die in crossfire All that madness ends today I'm not afraid of their warnings I don't shy away from disaster To criminals and crooks I can only say Count your days when you're against the gods. You've got to stack your odds. You've got to make your own justice. Although the danger's clear, you've got to persevere. You've got to make your own justice. So I promise to be righteous. And I cleaned up Gotham's act. I locked up those malefactors when their malice was a fact. And I made my share of enemies, men that plotted my demise. And I had my share of barrels pointed straight between my eyes. But I don't give them the enjoyment. If I had my way, they'd be goners to criminal. If I can't get the word from somebody else, I'll kill you myself. These reprobates, they can't be saved by fate. You gotta make your own justice. If not in the cell, you let them rot in hell. You gotta. Every time I lock one up, two more just get released. The crooks bought out so many cops, they'll never be policed. A half a million dollars out to see my ass deceased. A fella starts to wonder when he'll end up six feet under. On one hand, Gotham needs its white knight pushing brighter days. The other thinks that some folks would be better set ablaze And maybe take a cut until they authorize my raise I'm angry and I'm upset, I'm of two minds of the subject And all it takes is one guy escaping For all my pent up rage to awaken My own two feet I ran and pursued him I knew damn well I was planning to shoot him I chased him to the chemical warehouse Right on the acid splash zone of their belt A jolt and a blam, but I don't give a damn I gotta make my own justice And it blam! When I woke, the doctors told me Half my person had been burnt At first I thought my life had been Propelled into the dirt Oh, but then I started thinking About the hand that I'd been dealt My noggin's differential Now it seems inconsequential Man is flawed by a virtue of nature He cannot be burdened with choices To live our lives as upstanding people We gotta take the good with the evil The only truly perfect decision Is made with 50-50 division Harvey's gone and who's gonna take his place? Two-Face! When the system's broken You flip a token and you make your own justice My life was trouble, now I'm seeing double I gotta Make my own justice. Do bop do bop do ba do ba do ba do ba. Make my own justice. You gotta make your How does a 
seemingly random chemical explosion sear off a perfectly symmetrical half of your body. I guess it was just meant to be. Not your bullshit for everything. Were Brad and Angelina meant to be, Harvey? You know, <laughs> scientifically speaking, a double-headed coin that's marked up on one side is not a 50-50 split. One side has to be heavier. Don't take that back! <laughs> Harvey, what you are describing is a life fully outside your control. How does that not terrify you? You can talk to me about control when you steal someone's wallet without leaving them your riddles three like some woodland bridge troll. <laughs> <laughs> Puzzles make me happy, Harvey. Everything I am. Then I guess one day, they're gonna be the death of you. You know, I'm sorry, Harvey, but I still gotta say a cab. <laughs> City needs good cops, dits. Well, maybe. Or maybe we're the victims of an unjust system designed to turn a profit by subjecting both homogenized, predominantly black and brown communities to mandatory labor for avoiding policemen for aggressive military behavior and conditioning a feedback loop of imprisonment with no hopes of coming out. But what do I know? I'm just some dit. <laughs> as crazy as the American justice system. <laughs> well, we're running short on time, so... Hold the mayor! Yeah. Oh, the oh, condiment oh, king oh, stands oh, up, trumpeting oh, his oh, cell phone oh, in his hand. Oh, Sweet oh, sarsaparilla. Friends, I can feel the uncertainty reverberating in the room. It's spicy as cayenne pepper and bitter as... Um, something lacking in condiments. <laughs> Today I ask you to let me reach deep inside you and pull out something you didn't know was there. <laughs> I just got off the phone with some key union leaders, including Vermont Senator Bernard Sanders. <laughs> and I carry from them a strongly worded warning. If you do not concede me one musical number, I, I, don't look me. I draw the line at Vermont Senator Bernard Sanders. <laughs> I already felt the burn. I still feel the burn. <laughs> Alberti C in bass major. Nope, it bass in C major. Whoops. <laughs> uh, please buy me a drink first. <laughs> Mayo, open your ears to the sauce cavalier, singing songs in a bright major key. Let me spread my designs on your flavorless minds. Listen in, have a taste, and you'll see. You can't catch up with me. Life was such a bother, living with my deadbeat father, eating scraps out of a Buick Riviera. <laughs> the love my dad supplied was like a Caesar on the side, like a cheesy bread without the marinara. <laughs> One day we went to Culver's and he choked himself on custard. I never loved you, son! was the only thing he mustered. <laughs> nah, I'm just a saucy motherfucker. <laughs> oh, when you're drifting along, you can count on a song. It's as easy as one, two, three. How I relish the time in a life full of crime. It's as sweet and as sour as can be. You can't catch up with me. <laughs> Don't be disheartened, my fellow ne'er-do-wells We shan't shy away from our peculiar sights and smells For now they may look at us with mass hysteria But perhaps we're just the chicken and we're missing Terrier Key! <laughs> Join me and tell the world you like the way you are. We don't need to be accompanied by coleslaw or tartar. For now, they may look at us with mass hysteria. Have them know you'll have a slice of life with any side you want. Let them know you'll have a slice of life with any side you want. Let them know you'll have a slice of life with any side you want. 
kick line. Oh, when you're trousing along, you can count on a song. It's as easy as one, two, three. How I relish the time in a life full of grind. It's as sweet and as sour as can be. You can't catch up. You can't catch up. You can't catch up with me. Joke? Not even the first time in my life 
I'm 100% serious. <laughs> oh, Mr. J, Mr. J, why you got me feeling that way? The only life that fills my soul is life with you and no parole. I studied up, ready for any bad joke he has bad. My mom used to beat me good. Except for that, you pulled me in with a strong and
like this is all I've ever known. Walking away doesn't make you weak. You can't blame yourself for waking up and realizing you deserve better than what you can give. I'm not forcing you to do anything except to finally please God. Make a decision that's your own. Joker approaches them. He stares knives through Harley's body. She hesitates, but looks to Ivy, takes a deep breath, and then... You're rude to me. You say things that hurt me. You don't treat me right. We never do what I want to do. When things go wrong and you get upset, I don't feel safe at the lair. I'm tired of covering up bruises with makeup. I'm tired of being a doormat for you to rub your dirty clown shoes on. And most of all, I'm tired of forcing a laugh at jokes that just aren't funny. The others tense up and raise their voices before Ivy steps between the two defiantly. Joker looks around, laughs, and drops his arm. Everybody's a critic. Clearly, we have a lot to talk about. But I'm afraid it'll have to wait. You have three minutes. <laughs> you were right, Red. I don't want this. I've never wanted this. And I don't think you do either. None of you do. People, we are a melting pot of fucked up. Our problems have problems. Obsessive compulsions, raging narcissism, depression, complex foreverate disorder, misotherapy, histronic personality <coughs> disorder, and most of all trauma, especially trauma. A shitload of trauma. Sorry, I can't see you straight. Harley takes out her glasses and looks at Two-Face. Oh my god! Bobby, is that your face? I thought you just had a big mole or something. That explains a lot, actually. Look, look, look. We are not okay. But the thing that Joker is never, ever gonna understand that it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be okay. Whom I should trademark that. Trademark Harley Quinn. <laughs> Look, I know people can suck red. Like, really, really suck. But I was your psychiatrist once. I know you had the capacity to see the good in them back then. And I know you have it in your neck. No one can hurt you when you're alone, Harley. It's so much easier. There are other ways to send a message. Hell, I'll even help you. Eating the rich, destroying the patriarchy, I'm your girl. But we're not gonna save the world by leaving it all to people. Maybe sometime today. Ivy stares at Harley. Fuck those eyes. Nukes <laughs> <laughs> aren't really my style. If I'm putting an end to the human race, I'm doing it my way. Literally and metaphorically fucking the rich. You know what if the shoe fits? Come on, guys, let's do it. Bro! <laughs> Flip of the coin. Dent flips the coin and it spins in the air. Then, Nigma takes the coin before it lands. Harvey breaks down. Uh, give it back! Call it. Give it back. Call it. I need my coin, Ed. It's all I have. Then I guess it's gonna be the death of you. You slick son of a bitch. <laughs> heads! It's only heads. <laughs> it's only heads. Dent takes his coin and joins the others. Together they press down the big green button. The timer stops. Then after a minute, keeps going. <laughs> Why didn't it stop? Why is it still going? <laughs> Why are you still smiling? You feel it is... Oh, I'm too mad to live right You know, it's funny. 
I've been smiling for so long. I'm so stuck like this. We won your game. We all agreed to stop it. Well, I didn't. Since when did you get say? Since I thought of a way better punchline and changed my mind. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this? Well, I saw the forecast today. It was looking nice and temperate, and you know how rare sunny days are in Gotham. What the fuck do you think I'm doing it for? I'm the Joker. It's literally in my name. I didn't care whether you dropped the bomb. Either you groveled for your lives, or you admit Gotham's broken beyond repair. Either way, it was going to be a real hoot. But then you killed him. You rejected yourselves, everything you've worked for. You tried to convince God yourselves there's a light at the end of a padded tunnel. You're supposed to be Gotham's greatest villains, but you can't even admit that things will never get better. You're the Arkhamites. When the going gets tough, you build empires. You seek revenge. You, you kill 20 million people. Gotham turned you into monsters. Doesn't that make you fucking livid? <laughs> Why, if I weren't laughing? No. End of the day, one way or another, Joker always gets the last laugh. Tulu, bye bye now. That's all, folks! Suddenly, <laughs> seemingly out of nowhere, two shots of mustard fly into the Joker's eyes. Oh, my God. There's mustard in my eye! Oh. And it's spicy! Oh, Ow. Rising like a bright, beautiful beacon of light is the condiment king!